Hannity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my might. My videos are about love, infinity, creation, energy, because we're infinite love, infinite creation, infinite energy. This is who we are. This is our nature. We're the human race. Why? Because of our human heart. The human heartbeat. Human heartbeat is a primordial, primordial instinct. See? We live because of the human heart. We exist because of the human heart. Without the human heart, we wouldn't exist. Without the heartbeat, we wouldn't exist. The heartbeat generates an electromagnetic field. Pulse of life, the pulse of creation. This electromagnetic field is a light spherical electromagnetic field surrounding the human body. It powers the brain, the organs, so they can function. We can think, be self-aware, be conscious, be sentient, be intelligent as we are creators. It's our nature. We are beautiful. We are beautiful nature. And today's video is about us, human, who we are. So let's do that. So why, dot, how, slash, human? And that's why, dot, how, slash, human. So you can refer to it on the website. You can refer to it on Substack. You can refer to it on YouTube. So let's jump into it. And I'll explain the notion of who we are as human. Because in the end, we are the human species. We are the human race. The human condition, human nature. This is who we are, the human body. <laughs> so who, who are we? Well, we live to love and we love to live. Why? Because of the human heartbeat. The human heartbeat is the primordial instinct to live. We exist because of the human heartbeat. It's our first instinct, our primordial instinct, the human heartbeat. So we are alive because of the human heartbeat. And we love with our hearts. So it's not a coincidence. You see, nature is poetic. It tells us in the most beautiful and sim in the simplest of ways. You know, a child can grasp this notion. So it's very simple. It's very easy. It's objective reality. It's natural phenomena. Observable. We love with our hearts. And we exist because of the human heartbeat. And the human heartbeat, heartbeat takes place in the heart. So we are alive. And the place where we, that gives us life, the human heart, our biological creator, is the same place where we love. Love comes from a heart. So we live to love, you see. We are alive, so we love. Why? Well, think about it. Biologically speaking, we make love. We have children. And we love our children. We love our creation. It's our instinct to love our creation. So we raise them and life cycle continues because life is creation and creation is energy. And we are energy because of the electromagnetic field that powers the human body, us, the human condition, the human race, human nature. So the heart those two things. He gives us life and he makes us love, allows us to love. So we live to love, meaning we're a heartful species. We're a love-based species. We are a heart-based species. We are a benevolent race. We're a good race. You see, we have transitioned away from these unaware, unconscious species. Didn't know who we were. Didn't know our nature because we lack the knowledge, the understanding, the wisdom to know who we were. But now we're self-aware, we're conscious, we understand that we're like spherical beings. This is who we are, this is our nature. We have a heartbeat that powers the human body so we can be conscious, self-aware, sentient, and love. We don't only love our biological creations, our offsprings, but we love everything that we do. We self-love, we have the ability to love ourselves, understand it through empathy, and then we can go and love others. So we build societies and we build communities and all these beautiful things that we do here on earth. With billions of us, remember. And then all the things that we have created through thousands of years, all these things that we create because it's our nature to create. Not nature created us, so we create that one more time. It's our nature to create because nature created us. So nature created us, so we create because it's scales of creation. The sun, electromagnetic field of the sun, spherical, just like the sun itself being spherical, created the conditions on earth for, for life to emerge. Earth itself is spherical, just like the sun. And it has its own electromagnetic field that's spherical, creating the conditions for life to exist at a biological scale, which is us. And we have our own electromagnetic field, which is spherical. So life is spherical. Scales of creation, astronomical, terrestrial, biological, all energy, all creation, all life at different scales. So this is who we are. We are the human race. We live to love and we love to live. Why? Because we all want to have purposeful lives. Because we love. You see, we have feelings, emotions. We're sentient. We're not just like... Intelligent only. We are intelligent with emotions and feelings. We are a very, very intelligent species. We are very special. So, think about it fundamentally. 
our nature is to love. It's our heart. It's our heart. So, we're only human after all though. And this is what today's video is all about. So let's dive in. Let's talk a, a little bit about what that means. So, this is a cycle. You see, it's a cycle. It's a beautiful cycle. It's a virtuous cycle. Who we are, humans, in the end. That's what you can refer to it on y.how slash human. So let's start there. So, we're only human after all. But let's start at the beginning, walk the talk, you see. We walk the talk, and how do we walk the talk? Well, we walk the talk through action. We're compass, we're sandals, you see, purposeful daily action. Purposeful daily action. Let our actions speak for ourselves. You see, our actions have their own voice. They can speak for themselves. People watch us and they learn, not because of what we say, but because of what we do. We have eyes to see, so we see the actions that are being taken. So we learn, we observe, you see, we, we watch and learn, that's what we do, we mimic each other, this is our nature. We see, we learn, we see, we do, we mimic each other, we're social, we're biological in that way. We have all these different systems designed for that very notion of connection. So that's what we do, walk the talk. So we walk the talk through the fourth primary element, which is action, purposeful daily action. And purposeful daily action is the proof to free will. We manifest free will, we compass, we shatter illusions and render them obsolete. We shatter fantasies and render them obsolete because we're energy, we shatter things with our field force, electromagnetic field force, frequency and vibration. And that's heart energy, right? You exercise, you get pumped and your heartbeat goes faster. You're creating with your actions. So it's energy, it's all energy. So walk the talk, meaning your actions speak for themselves. Let your actions speak for themselves Identity and true self, true self guiding purposeful daily action. You manage your time and energy. You have your purpose. Ta taking daily action, purposeful daily action speaks for itself. Results speak for themselves. They have their own voice. They contribute to society and people see it. They resonate with it, particularly if it's purposeful and loving because we all have a heart and we all see it. We all see creation. We all see loving things. We all agree that's a good thing. So it's beautiful and that's just the way it is. Walk the talk. Actions speak louder than words. So let the walk do the talk. The actions themselves. See, an action speak louder than a million words. If you ever have to talk, talk about your actions. So walk the talk. So that's the pinnacle. You see, it's the first step. Action. Then no hard feelings moves into the second sequence. No hard feelings. Again, we're human. You see, we have emotions. We're a heart-based race. We love. This is the highest frequency of energy of creation, love. But we also have other feelings and other emotions that are not necessarily the highest level of creation. The low vibration energies, lower vibration energies. And our idea is to be purposeful and loving, purposeful life, purposeful results. Understanding that we're a benevolent species. This is our nature. We transition into a life spherical being for a reason. Because love is the path forward for creation. So no hard feelings means not taking things personally about our own performance and the performance of others and the actions of others, the walks and of others, whatever, whoever walks, let them do the walk. You do your own. You have your free will, let them have their own free will. No hard feelings. So you don't have any hard feelings and they sub to them. Because if you have no hard feelings, then you don't have all these fantasies and all these illusions, you know, creating all this friction, all this noise and all these you know, uh, background uh, noise is static in your life, slowing you down, taking up your energy so you can actually create with your actions to walk. Walk to talk, no hard feelings. Keeps you light, it liberates you. You, you. you know, you stay on the path. You do what's supposed to do. No hard feelings. And then the next one is leave and let leave. Freedom, right? Free will. You have your free will, make the choices you make. Others have the same choices. They have their free will, their freedom to choose what they do and what they don't. So no hard feelings leads to that. Live and let live. Live your life. Live your purpose. Purposeful life. We live to love and we love to live. So let others do the same. It doesn't matter what they think and what they do. What matters is what you do, what's in your control. Not the fantasies, not the illusions. So live and let live. It's a fundamental idea. No assumptions, none of these things. It doesn't really matter. Don't focus on those things because they're fantasies, they're illusions. They drag you, they slow you down. Focus on what matters. 
your walk, your actions, your purpose, your feelings, no hard feelings. So walk the talk, no hard feelings, live and let live. Live your life and let others live their life. And then that moves into the next one, which is give it your all. Meaning, immerse yourself in the moment here and now. Give it all you have. Give it all you have. Absolutely all you got. Follow your dreams. Chase your dreams. Make your dreams come true because this is our purpose. To make our dreams come true through purposeful daily action. We manifest our dreams through purposeful daily action. Our true self energy guides us. Our true self manifests through purposeful daily action. So we manifest our dreams, we manifest our purpose, and we manifest purposeful lives, lives of purposeful results, purposeful goals. This is what we do. We give it our all, all that energy, all body energy, our heart energy, our mind energy, our true self energy is focused on our purpose, on our dream. We give it our all. You see, we are creators. We put our heart, our love, back to all our actions. And then this is an... Vir uh, virtuous cycle it never ends it's an infinite cycle of creation we're human after all so it starts we walk the talk no hard feelings leave and let leave give it your all it's very simple as long as you stick uh, to this framework human framework you will be on your path compass because all these fantasies, all these illusions, they won't have a hold over you. You will be in control of your own destinations because you're a compass, you're a sundial. Remember, stare at the sun, open your heart, open your mind, get in sync, walk the talk, no hard feelings, leave and let leave, give it your all. As you know, I use the daylight, natural lighting for my videos and this is the last video of the day. I love you all with all my heart, with all my might. Remember who we are. We are the human race. We are benevolent species. We are the citizens of the Republic of Planet Earth. We are the citizenry of the Republic of Planet Earth. We are the leaders of the Republic of Planet Earth. We are the defenders of the Republic of Planet Earth. This is who we are. We are here to make our dreams come true. To live purposeful lives. We live to love and we love to live. Why? Because of the human heartbeat. It keeps us alive so we can love. Because they come from the same place, the human heart. So we love our lives and our creations. Love you all with all my heart, with all my might. Remember, we're only human after all. Refer to the visual y.how slash human on Substack and YouTube. That's y.how slash human. Love you all with all my might, with all my heart. Walk the talk. No hard feelings. Live and let live. Give it your all. The infinite cycle, it never ends. It just goes on and on and on to infinity. Love you all.